$1.1 billion. That's how much a Boise-based company just sold for. We're talking about software company Cradle Point. And our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with the company's CEO today about that business acquisition and what this now means for the company, the employees, and our community as well. So Shira, tell us all about it. Yeah, you know, Carolyn, a lot of people in the business world have been talking about this acquisition, but if you're not familiar with the name Cradle Point, you're certainly familiar with its technology. Now, every year they help NORAD track Santa through the Santa Tracker on Christmas. Boise Police also uses Cradle Point to connect their vehicles, as do more than 3,500 other first responder agencies across the country, and it's their connectivity products that have gained a lot of interest. Take a look. So this is about growth, and this is about taking a technology that's really going to revolutionize networking uh, for, for the enterprise. As of Friday, Boise-based company Cradle Point has a new owner. Swedish telecommunications company Ericsson bought Cradle Point in a $1.1 billion deal. Ericsson uh, they create the core technology for the cellular networks. And what CradlePoint does and what we've, we're a leader in, and we're the global leader in providing uh, cellular wide area networking for enterprise customers. That means Ericsson's 5G portfolio will now have access to tools, including wireless routers that can connect devices using different networks. George Mulhern is CradlePoint CEO. He says this deal isn't only beneficial for the companies, but the community. Erickson is very interested in investing in the Boise site, continuing to build our business. Uh, so I think we're going to be able to create more jobs in the Valley and more growth opportunities for our existing employees. So we'll still keep the Cradle Point brand. All the employees are staying with the company. Now, as for those jobs you heard George mention, he tells me right now they have about 80 openings to fill before the end of the year, and they expect to have many more job openings in 2021. Wow, Carolyn? Positive, positive news. Absolutely. On